Hello everybody and welcome back to Vegas Sports Talk and this afternoon I am previewing tomorrow's Golden Knights game against the Boston Bruins at the TD Garden in Boston. So, let's get into it. For the Golden Knights, they're 25-19-7 for 57 points. First wild card spot in the West, but with the win, they could jump into first place in the division. In Boston, they're 28-10-12-68 points and they, and they are first in their respective division in the Atlantic. Um, scoring leaders for both teams. Patrick leads the Golden Knights with 47 points and 21 goals, and Mark Stone has 28 assists on the year. Then you look at Boston. Theo Pasternak has 70 points and 37 goals, and Brad Marchand has 37 has 44 assists. Um, team stats: goals per game for the Golden Knights 3.06, goals against 3.04. That number needs to go down. They're about 15th and 16th in goals for and goals against, respectively. So that's middling. Road, they need to get that lower if they want to get in the playoffs. Penalty per kill is 78.9% and power play is 21.6%. For the Bruins, their goals per game are 3.32, goals against 2.52, so pretty good difference there. Power play 26.3% and penalty kills 83.6%, so their special teams is their strong suit. Plus minus, this is the difference to add for today's video. Although I don't really agree with plus minus, it shows what what players are most valuable for the team. Stevenson plus 14, Pass Ready plus 10, and England's a plus 10. And on the minus sign, Eakins a minus 9, Tuck's minus 9, and Glass is minus 7. For Boston, Zendero Char is plus 20, Marchand's plus 20, and Paris Bergeron is plus 15. Their minuses, Curly is minus 4, and Wagner is minus 10. Um, Goaltending comparison, um, I expect Flurry to start tomorrow's game. He's 19-11-4, 2.85 goals against, and a 9.06 save percentage. So we have 6 7 3 3.04 goals against, and 8.98 save percentage. For Boston, Tuka Rask is concussed. Um, I don't know how long he's out, but he's 17 4 and 6 with a 2.27 goals against, and a 9.25 save percentage. And Halak, he's 11-6-6, six six, 2.49 goals against, and a 9-18 save percentage, so their goaltending is better than the Golden Knights. Um, I expect the Golden Knights to lose this game tomorrow, 4-2. I just think Boston's going to be too much for them, and the break could not happen at a better time for the Golden Knights. They need 10 days to take a break, could settle under Peter DeVoer, and go on a long run, because as right now, they, don't, they do not look like a playoff team. And for Boston, they're only 6 points up on Tampa, and Tampa has games in hand on them, so they got to they gotta watch out of Tampa too, because they keep piling up overtime losses, but in the playoffs, those overtime losses don't matter. They don't give you a point. So, as I said before, I think the Knights will lose tomorrow's game, but that'll be the all-star break for them, so maybe they can gain momentum after that. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I want to have a fun video post in a little bit about Paul Weir and the New Mexico Lobos. So, watch out for that, and make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Vegas Sports Talk, where I post other content as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys again soon.